My name is Martin Gardner and I coordinate the International Column for Conservation programme. I'm one of the members of staff here at the Royal Botanic Gardens Edinburgh who spends quite a lot of time using the herbarium. And the herbarium here at Edinburgh is really quite exciting because there's still a lot of interesting material to be discovered. It's a huge filing system for plants from all around the world. And we have many people here who work um, in Southeast Asia, in Southwest Asia, in South America. And a lot of their, uh, on their field work, they make collections of herbarium specimens. Um, they bring them back, they then identify them. And the only way that they can properly identify them is by comparing that material with what is filed here in the herbarium. So they're very dependent on historical collection. Some of the collections that we have here are 150, 200 years old. That material is still incredibly important for the work that we do to compare with the recent material that they've collected. And of course, a lot of our collections that we're making today are new to science. So we're still discovering um, new species. Recently, when I was working in um, one of the cupboards which represents the Borage family, I came across a specimen that was collected by Charles Darwin in the 1830s. I came across the specimen because I was trying to curate plant collections from Chile and Argentina and I happened to look in another adjacent folder to see if um, the material that I was looking for had been misplaced and I came across a Darwin specimen. And that's quite exciting for us because although we already have Darwin specimens, we have about 60 or 70 Darwin specimens, this specimen um, is from an area that Darwin went to that we hadn't got representation in the herbarium. So the material here is actually from the Galapagos and it's actually called Galapagoa, named after the island. Um, and this is the original material. So in other words, Charles Darwin was the first person to discover um, this extraordinary plant. And so, why should we get so excited about a Darwin specimen? I think um, the, the, the real answer to that is that Charles Darwin has to be the most famous person in the world. And also the thought of, of handling this, this specimen here and the fact that, that Charles Darwin picked this plant, he, he pressed it, uh, he put it into his vasculum, he then sent it back to Cambridge for identification and then um, almost certainly he would have um, done some scientific research on this specimen. There's probably more specimens in this herbarium that contains almost three million specimens. There's more specimens of Charles Darwin to be, to be found and that's really quite exciting. Mm -hmm.